Hello. Here we see we have a four bar linkage that's non Grashoff. We have our long link and our short link, 70 and 40, and that's greater than our two other links, 60 and 49.5. And so we have a non Grashoff linkage. I'll remove the dimensions or hide them, and we can see that it is non Grashoff. I can't go all the way around here. It wants to toggle. You might get another. See how it jumps from one location to another? And so that's because it's non Grashoff. So, what I want to do is I want to have some repeated motion going from one location to another location back to this location. And to do that, I'm going to need to add a driver dyad. So, a driver dyad is basically adding a coupler to one of these rockers and adding a crank to the coupler, and that will give us the repeated motion. Remove the dimensions, or hidden them anyway. And what I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a couple new layers just to give us a clean workspace. I'm going to make a new layer called, we'll just call it Dyad. And how about a red color? And this will be a dashed and I'm going to go back to the 0.35 as we did for the new links. And I'm also going to add another one. I'm going to call this Dyad Dimensions, or Dyad Dims. And again, this is all somewhat arbitrary as to what colors you choose. We can make that blue. And I'm okay with that being a solid. And then we're going to make one other new one. And this will be Dyad Construction. And we can just choose another color of. And we'll leave the thickness the same, but we will make this the, the chain, which is like a small center line. I think it's what I used up here. Accept that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the rocker and its two extents. So I've got link. This is my old link, the black color. I'm going to go from this rocker pivot to this line here. I'm going to do the same thing again from the rocker pivot to the other coupler position right there. And this is again how I want my mechanism to move. Now I'm going to jump into my diode construction. And in the midst there, I'll just let you know that I did change the color of my diode construction. And I'm going to go with a circle starting at the pivot. And it's going to come out to this point. Now, this is where my coupler is going to attach to my rocker. It can attach at any point along this rocker, including this point all the way up here. But that seems like there'll be a larger linkage than necessary. So I'm going to come shorter. And at some point, I'll just click. We'll leave that alone. I'm going to go back to Dyad Dimensions, Smart Dimension Tool. To dimension this circle as 38 and change. I'm going to round up to 40. And that's that. This intersection, I'll zoom in, this intersection of my circle and my rocker, and my rocker and my rocker, that is where my coupler will attach. So I'm going to create some points that intersect between my circle and my rocker just so it's a little bit easier. I'm still under diet construction. And I'm going to put the point on the rocker and the rocker. Might as well do this one as well. I'm going to need it later. And I'm going to select the point, the rocker construction and the circle. Go to make intersection. We see the point moves. I'm going to do the same thing with these other two points. That point, that rocker, limit, the circle make intersection, and then this last one here. I'm doing this by compressing the control button as I select the three different entities, then releasing the control button. And we might be able to see that that point follows along. So that point follows along because it's intersecting with the circle and the rocker. I'm going to make a construction line from this point that's easy to snap to, and this point that's now easy to snap to. Move this out of the way here. And from the midpoint of this new line, which is right here, I'm going to come to these other points. 
And as we learned beforehand, that this circle that I just made here, this represents my circle for my crank. So the radius of this circle will be the same as my crank length. We'll measure that later. I'm going to make a new line from this point, and I'm going to bring it out this direction. I'm going to make it collinear. So it looks like it's just one line, but there's actually two segments there. My life a little bit easier in a few minutes. Now my crank is going to go somewhere on this line. I'm going to select my line to the end point of the line, deselect it. I'm under dyad. Now I'm ready to make my actual crank. It's going to go from the center of this circle to somewhere on that circle. And my coupler will go from that crank to this point that we made just a moment ago. So let's go ahead and make this circle right here and my crank circle equal. And we'll dimension our crank. We'll go into dyad dimensions. We've got 15.1. We'll keep it driven. My coupler needs to be three times my crank. So let's round that up to 50. 45.3 would be the minimum. We probably can get away with 45. We'll go to 50. And then finally, this length, as I mentioned, I believe. This length should be equal to my coupler. So I'm going to select it and select my coupler and make them equal. I'm going to dimension between my pivots. And I'll also measure between my pivot and my coupler connection. I'm going to convert this dimension to a Make it a construction, the one that's hidden. And I'm also going to hide my diet construction. And so this is the ground link of my driver diet, 51.7. That's my longest link. The sum of the longest and the shortest looks to be about 66, 67, while the other two links are at least 70. So it looks like we have a Grashoff linkage. Let's hide the dyad dimensions and let's see this in motion. There's my toggle, another toggle, toggle, toggle. So I've made a non Grashoff linkage have repeated motion with a driver dyad. Thank you.